this guy Vince Gilligan who wrote, you know, Breaking Bad, he didn't make you audition or anything nope. for the for the soul part, crazy. which is a, which is great. He was just a fan of yours. It was all this crazy stuff I did on the show with David Cross called Mr. Show that he was a big fan of. Breaking Bad was not a hit coming out of the box at all. Right. It was almost canceled after the first two seasons. And and when I went on the second season, I'd never seen it. Really? And I'd never seen the show. I'd only seen the billboard with uh, Walter White in his underwear. And I called a, a friend. I thought I'd have to call five or six friends to ask him, what is this thing? Should I do it? And uh, and I was going to do it, just to be very right. clear. I was going right. to take that cash. But call me crazy, Bob. I would think if I got offered a job on a TV show, I would go out of curiosity and go watch the show a couple of episodes, no? Well, I did watch it on the flight. <laughs> Oh, to fucking Albuquerque. <laughs> I popped a DVD into my little computer and uh, watched 10 minutes of it because I wanted to make sure I got the tone right. I understood it was a drama. Right. And I also saw that my character was pretty funny. So, like, how, did the, how does it marry up, you know? And then, of course, I dialed it in a lot more when I got in a room with Brian Cranston and he's fucking doing a master class, ten, you know, two feet from my face. And I'm like, I better amp up my game here and show up. But uh, I, I was, uh, I, I figured it out. Do you have to stick to the exact writing the way it is? Or were you yeah. called? The, oh, you do. No, no, so no, you, no, no, no. This, uh, isn't, comedy, no this right. isn't comedy. This isn't comedy. Your comedy screw ups and fool arounds. This is, this is adult uh, drama effort right. work. Right. Prose. Right. Um, I got that first script from Vince, and I was immediately started fucking with it, just like a comedy writer does. I said, right. oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, what if I said this? I started writing all this garbage. <laughs> Pain in the, the ass. Yeah, somewhere in the middle of it, I went, you know what? Hey, what if you tried to be an actor? What, what if you just tried? Would, would that be okay once in your life, you fucking clown? Right. And I thought, you know, well, I'm not me. I'm Saul Goodman. I'm this guy, and he's chosen to talk this way. He's actually chosen this persona. He, he tells Walter White, this is all phony. This is a thing I'm inventing. <laughs> so why don't I try and, and just really commit to this person who doesn't talk like me, doesn't act like me, doesn't dress like me, hasn't, doesn't have my priorities. Let's not do that thing where you make it easier for you to, to do it, but rather you stretch yourself and, and put yourself and try to really live in another person's skin who's not you. And then when you do yep. it, when you feel like you nailed it, like you made those words as written come out and they felt natural, they were right. That's the, that's the job. thing that's cool about acting. 